Uh, one of our biggest things for us coming in is to change the culture just in terms of work ethic and hustle and enthusiasm. So our staff has been all about development and working on the little things and honing our skills and just catching and throwing and then moving on to the bigger things. Um, they always say that if you do the little things right, you can win the game. So we're working on all of those things in terms of development and growing um, the program and, and the team based on those things. So doing the little things right can get you a long way. Uh, so that's kind of where we're looking and how we're building the new culture of this program. Um, and also in implementing more you know, enthusiasm during games and getting more excited and showing some heart because I believe a team uh, like LaSalle is going to win games a lot based on our heart and our drive and, and kind of being determined and more determined than the team that we're playing on the other side of the field. So um, trying to get them to play with a little bit more emotion and passion and show that every game. Um, I think the biggest adjustment has been a lot of things have been changed from last year. Much more practicing, more conditioning, working out. Um, which is all great. It's all helping us a lot and I think it's going to show when we step onto the field. This preseason this year has been a lot more intense than in years past and I think a lot of girls feel more prepared and we've been doing a lot more live uh, which is getting us better prepared for the season and I think our confidence level is up so I think overall we're going to do well going into this weekend. We're definitely uh, a young team. Uh, the team graduated eight seniors last year and that was the majority of our infield. So um, we're definitely getting, getting there in terms of um, our age and our inexperience. But with that comes a lot of fresh legs and fresh arms coming in and new, new exciting positions for people. So I think that the passion is gonna show through of people playing in new positions and getting a shot. Um, like I said before, you know, we're trying to compete every single day and play with passion. And uh, so competing for positions and having people who can play multiple positions are really important. So uh, it's been nice to see other people playing different positions than they've played in the past and um, stepping up and becoming those players. So um, I think we're excited that we're so young, so that means we're building, we're starting this building year for, for us, but I think that our goal moving forward is to, is to compete at the Atlantic 10. Um, we were ranked ninth uh, out of the 10 teams in the Atlantic 10 in softball, and we're not happy with it. We want to, to prove everybody wrong. We want to show what LaSalle really has and come out there and uh, shock, shock the A-10 and shock the softball community that LaSalle is a force to, to be concerned with when we play in conference. Well, I think a big thing going into this season was um, with the new coach, all of us kind of came in as freshmen. So um, being here for four years and knowing LaSalle softball beforehand, um, we know how the team needs to be run. Um, we have a strong emphasis on academics, um, being in class, um, getting good grades, and carrying ourselves well around campus. And I think um, even before we met with the coaches, we knew that we had to like stick together through this because it is a big change in the culture of the program. Um, and we knew that coming into this that we were going to have a lot of underclassmen um, that were looking up to us. So it was a big step for us seniors just to band together and kind of um, take freshmen under our wing just to um, emphasize the academic part of it and the culture like change part of it too. I think for us this weekend is really about um, getting on dirt and kind of just seeing where we are. Uh, more so evalu uh, evaluation than anything else. Uh, we play some really good competition. Campbell, Georgia Tech, and Fairfield. Fairfield who won their conference last year. So it's not going to be an easy weekend for us. So I, I think it, we'd be happy to come out with you know a, a couple wins, but more so looking to see what this team can do and who can step up in positions. Um, our offense, uh, in my opinion, looks really strong. We've been seeing a lot of live. Um, all of our staff members throw BP and so our, um, have our pitchers. So our, our hitters have been seen live for the past two, uh, month and a half. So I think our hitters are gonna feel really comfortable going in against uh, some experienced pitchers on the other teams. So um, we'll just see how things go. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing other people in different positions and different makeups of the team and who steps up.